Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Nutshell CRM. Nutshell CRM is the perfect CRM if you are just getting started. And I would also recommend it for businesses that are in the mid-range right there. As with this CRM, you are provided with numerous features and the user interface is highly rated. Some of the features that you will get on Nutshell CRM are sales automations, web form collection, pipeline management, reporting and analytics, team collaboration, email marketing, contact management, and so much more. And you can get started for completely free as they do offer a 14 days free trial period and you do not need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. Once you are signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And on this dashboard, you can see it is very easy to understand and maneuver around, which is why I said it is highly rated for beginners. The first thing you can do is go over to the top left hand corner. And from there, you could tap on add new. After tapping on add new, from there, you can see the different options. And normally the first thing that I would recommend you do once you're on your CRM dashboard is to start adding your contacts. You can do that by tapping on import right here. After you have tapped on import, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Once on this dashboard, you can scroll down and you will see the option address book. You could tap on that. After you have tapped on address book, you can see the different platforms that you can integrate. So for example, you could add your contacts from Apple contacts, or you can add them from Google contacts or LinkedIn, as you can see right here. Now, if you don't have either one of these platforms and you'd like to add your contacts, all you will need to do is simply go over to the left hand menu option once more. And from there, you could tap on people. After you have tapped on people, you could tap on add new person. And you can fill in the person's name and information right here. Or you can close out of this and you could tap on import from your contacts. Once you have tapped on import from your contacts, you will be redirected to a new page. And on this new page, you'll be able to, for example, upload your CSV file or so on. As you can see right here, import your data. And again, it will redirect you to this page right here. So you can see the different options as I was telling you earlier that you can also use. Now let's go back to the main dashboard. So I'll tap on dashboard right here. And this is how your dashboard looks at the moment. Now to create your first task, you will need to tap on add new in. Now to create your first task, you will need to tap on add new in the top left hand corner. Then you are going to tap on task. After you have tapped on task, you can create your first task right here. You can also select the due date. So for instance, end of week, you can tap right there. You can select the time also. Then you can tap right where you see assign E and you could assign it to someone else if you want. Then you can scroll down and you can add your notes right there. Once you're finished, you'll tap on create task and you can see that you have created your first task. Another thing that you can also do is to create your first leads. You could tap on leads right here. After you have tapped on leads, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Once on this dashboard, you can see right here, no leads found. To create your first lead, all you will need to do is tap on the plus where you see add new. Then we are going to tap on lead. After you have tapped on lead, you will see this pop up. And from here, you'll be able to add your first lead. You could put in your lead name, the anticipated close date. After you have added the anticipated close date, from there, you can add your product. So you'll tap on manage product. I will be showing you how to create a product later on in the tutorial. Then from there, you can select the pipeline 
and you can also add the price and fill in the necessary information and that's how you'll be able to add your first lead now let's go over to the top left hand corner once more if we were to tap on the plus from here i want you to tap on form at the bottom right there and you can see the different forms that you can create you can create a contact us form right here or you can create a sales request or a join a mail list i will tap on contact us for this example once you have tapped on contact us you can tap on next right here then you'll tap on next once more and you are going to tap on next then you'll tap on get started and you can see they provide you with three options drafting your first message creating your first audience exploring on your own i will select exploring on your own then you will tap on get started from here you can choose edit form after you have choose edit form this is how it looks at the moment and from here you could go over to the right hand menu option and you can edit the background color and so on after you're finished you'll tap on preview form and from there you could tap on save changes once you have tapped on save changes you will be redirected to this dashboard and you can tap on embed form in the top right hand corner and you could copy the embed code and you will be able to paste it on your website or if you would like to share the URL, you could simply tap on copy shareable URL and you'll be able to share it on any social media platform if you want. And also by going over to the left hand menu option, you could tap on newsletters, then you could select create a newsletter. Then all you'll need to do is add in a name right here, then tap on create. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page and all you will need to do now you can tap on create new edition after you have tapped on create new edition you can scroll down and you would normally see the different templates let's tap over here and you can see the different templates that nutshell provides as you can see here once you have found one that you like you will simply tap on it then you will tap right there after you have done that you can fill in this information so let's do that real quick name your edition then you'll tap on create and you can see it is saving once it has been saved you can also schedule when you would like to send it so you could tap on scheduling right there but before doing that you can edit it and make any changes you want so this is the editor page just give it a few seconds to load up all you have to do is simply tap on the section that you would like to change so let's say for example i like to type in simple answers right there i can do that and you can also add links and so on if you want as you can see right there all you need to do is simply scroll down you can change anything you want you can simply tap on the image if you would like to change the image you could tap on the image and from there you could change the image if you want you can also tap right here where you see the button and you can change the button text and so on once you are finished you can tap on send a test email if you want or as i said earlier you can schedule out when you would like to send it you can also set up drip sequences by tapping on drip sequences right there you will be redirected to a new dashboard and you can create your first drip sequence right here by tapping on it you will be able to set up your first email automation using the nutshell platform i won't be showing you how to do that at the moment and you can see that you'll also be able to view your analytics and so on using this platform so they do offer numerous marketing features and if you would like to integrate your calendar you can do that by tapping on calendar from the left hand menu option then you could tap on connect your calendar and you could integrate your calendar you can also view their scheduler by tapping on scheduler right here after you have done that you will be redirected to this dashboard and you can create your first meeting by tapping on create new meeting 
then you can select whether it will be you hosting it only or you will have a co-host then you could tap on create meeting then you will see name this meeting you could add in the name once you have done that and tap on save you will be redirected to this page once on this page you can see let people book this meeting you can do that you can share the link so persons will be able to join your meeting as you can see right there and you'll be able to view how many persons have booked a meeting and that's basically it as you can see this nutshell crm has numerous features is user interface is very easy to understand you can easily monitor around or better yet you can easily browse around the platform and you can access the different features i do recommend it if you're a complete beginner or you're a small business hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe